Hi, my name is Tyler, and this is After Touch Audio. Today, I want to give you a no-nonsense guide to EQ and how you can get the most out of this absolutely essential plugin. EQ or equalizers are like volume knobs for individual frequency bands or individual frequencies. Just like how you have volume faders that control the track's volume up and down, an EQ takes a signal and divides it into bands. Now, the number of bands your EQ may or may not have won't make you a better EQer. EQer? Is that even a word? Nope. Let's go over some of the common settings you'll find within a standard EQ. Frequency. The frequency basically selects the frequency that you wish to target. Q. The Q stands for quality factor and adjusts the bandwidth of frequencies your filter addresses. This is extremely important when dealing with resonant frequencies or wanting to boost a broader range of frequencies. Bands. Bands determine how the frequency spectrum is divided up. You won't find this control on EQs where you can create your own nodes like FabFilter Pro Q3, but you can find them on 3 and 5 band EQs. Bands are usually set up in fixed frequency ranges and are divided up into low, mids, and highs. Some EQs will allow you to adjust the band's crossover and affect different frequency ranges. Here is a quick basic cheat sheet on the different frequency ranges. Filter type. The filter type determines the shape of the filter that you are using. Some of the more common types of filters you'll see on an EQ are bell, low shelf, low cut, high shelf, and high cut. Low cut, which can also be called high pass, and high cut, which can also be called low pass, cut the frequencies past a certain range. Low cut filters are perfect for getting rid of low wind, rumble, or even mic handling noise. Where a high cut filter removes high end noise like that annoying camera buzz, or they can help clean up the high end to let other elements that have more useful information there shine. Bell filters are the most common types of filter you'll come across, and they boost or cut a wide or narrow range of frequencies. They are the go-to filter for shaping the tone of your sound. Low shelf and high shelf filters boost or reduce all frequencies past the frequency range. These filters are perfect for dampening sounds or boosting a large range of frequencies. Slope. The slope of the filter adjusts how aggressively the drop-offs are on either side of the frequency selection. Larger numbers will give you a more drastic change, where smaller numbers will give you a more subtle change. The last common control that you'll have access to with on a parametric EQ is gain. Gain controls how much volume is boosted or reduced to your selected frequency range. This control will be blocked off on high cut and low cut filters as they are infinite drop offs. Let's quickly go over a few tricks and tips for using EQ. Use low cut filters to clean up your low end. While my voice doesn't carry a lot of sub frequencies, there is still some low end energy down there that is just not useful. While this is not a problem with single tracks, when we start layering sounds together, the low end presence will become magnified. When it comes to dialogue processing, less is usually more. If you find yourself reaching for 10 plus bands of EQ, you probably have more problems than an EQ can solve, and you may need to try to find other solutions to solve the problem. Don't judge me. There is a reason why most EQs and channel strips come with a restricted band of EQs. Experiment with different types of filters. We have more advanced filter types in different filter units like Serum FX Racks, which has comb filters, format filters, flangers, and one of my all time favorite filters, the reverb filter. This filter simulates the sound with reverb on it without actually applying reverb to it. I'll be following this video up with some more advanced and targeted techniques like getting better dialogue, mid-side processing, and even more special types of EQ. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to be notified when I drop a new video. And if you have any cool EQ tips or have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Now go make some noise.